Let's talk about resistance. Resistance is a concept that stops something from moving forward. It can be a friction, it can be a resistor like in electrical engineering. And when I was in uh, EE, we learned that resistors will resist the current going through and drop the voltage. So resistance is something that we all deal with every day. And I wanted to talk with you about resistance. I'm Dr. George Flynn, and resistance is a topic that I believe you'll understand once we discuss it for a few minutes here. In resisting something, you know, we, we don't want a change. And a lot of things happen to us that we don't want to happen, and we resist that change. And just like, uh, you know, a, an accelerator, you can't push it down all the way right away. You have some resistance. You have to overcome that resistance to step on the accelerator. So, so many things in life are like that. And that's what we want to talk about. Resistance of things that you want to do, you actually want to do them, but why don't you do them? There's so many things in your life that you really have a, a you know, a passion to do, but what happens? Well, it's resistance. That's exactly what happens. Any calling, any calling that you have will have some resistance to it. <clears throat> and I got this, uh, a lot of these ideas from The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And I've got an autographed copy of his book and I read it and I bring some of these ideas along with some of my ideas to you for you to think about. So resistance is any type of thing that you want to do, why aren't you doing it? Like writing a book. Do you want to write a book? There's a book in every one. You've got these life experiences. You've got a book inside of you. Why haven't you written the book? What's stopping you? Well, it's, I'll get around to it. I'll get to it when, when things are right, when things are perfect. When things, when I have plenty of time to sit down and write, and write perfectly, well, that time's not coming. That time is here, right now. Things are as perfect as they're going to get. So I'm saying, you can sit down and write that book. Why don't you do it? And I'm gonna show you a little example. If you'd like to get over the, the resistance of writing a book, and you say, I don't wanna really write a book, I'm saying, okay. We're just going to use this as an example. I want you to get a piece of paper after you watch this, just one piece of paper, sit down with a pen and write one sentence about the book, the first sentence of the book that you may or may not want to write. That's all, just one sentence. Just sit down there and write it out. Uh, you can say once upon a time, there was a day, whatever it is. Just write that out. Once you've done that, you have just overcome resistance. Because most people don't get a piece of paper out, they don't get a pen out, they don't put it on the, on the table, and they don't write the first sentence. You have just done a whole lot of work, about 80% of the work to write in a book, getting over the resistance. What about uh, art? What about a painting? Say you don't want to write a book. How about taking uh, some watercolors or some, so just, you know, add some water to some colors and then take a brush and do a watercolor, do a painting. Do that. Prepare a canvas. Well, you say, I don't have time to do all that. I got to have dinner and I've got to, you know, watch my TV shows and I've got to do this. I don't have time to do it. Well, when will you ever have time to do it? What about music? What about learning to play an instrument? That's overcoming a lot of resistance. What about if you play an instrument, learning a new tune? That's a little bit of resistance. So we're talking about these things that you now understand what resistance is. Okay, let's say you have an idea for a business. It'd be a great business, 
you know, people need this product or this service. They need it. And you're not doing it. But you know how to do it. You know how to put it together, how to do it. Other people need it. But you're not doing it because resistance. You just, it's so hard to get started. Inertia. We used to call it, I used to call it inertia because, you know, a train to get start going, it really takes a lot of power to start a train going. Once it's going, it doesn't take so much power to keep it going. But to start a project or anything that you want to do in life, it takes a lot of inertia, getting over that inertia. Okay, here's one that might step on your toes, a diet. Can you start a diet? Well, you say, you know, I can start a diet. I can diet, I can gain weight, I can lose weight, I can low salt, high salt, whatever you want, whatever kind of diet you need to be on. Check with your healthcare professional, your dietitian, uh, whatever you need. But when are you gonna start this diet? Well, you know, I would start today, but man, that dinner smells so good. That lunch or that breakfast smells so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and have it today. I'll start the diet tomorrow. That's what most of us do. I'll start it tomorrow. Can't get to it today. Tomorrow is another day and I will get it done. So we think about that and we don't diet. And it goes a week, then it goes a month, then it goes a year and we haven't started our diet. You know, I know. We're all alike in this. I'm not saying I'm better at this than you are. I'm just saying you and I need to recognize this. What about some kind of spiritual achievement? What about reading the Bible every day? Well, I can do that maybe. I'll get it out and read a verse. But you don't get it out. You don't read that verse. You have the greatest of intentions. It just doesn't happen. Why doesn't happen? It's resistance. It's getting over that inertia of getting something done. First of all, you make a decision to get it done. And then you take the first little step. Doesn't mean you have to do the whole thing right away. Just take one step and that will get, help you get over inertia. What about anything that will help you exercise and have tighter abdominal muscles. Oh, that's a little tough now, because that means work. And I work, work, work all day long. I do something all day long. But to get out there and exercise, a rowing machine or sit-ups, or I, don't, I just can't do that. Let's, let's have an agreement here. If this is what you want to do, get down on the floor or in bed or on a chair or you know on a couch or something do one sit up i didn't ask for 100 i didn't ask for 20 i said just one sit up and the next day maybe do two but you if you just do one sit up you have overcome resistance because in order to do 100 sit ups you have to do what the first one that's right you can't do sit up nine, number 99, you gotta do one, number one. So that's what we're talking about, overcoming that kind of resistance. What about breaking a habit, a bad habit? Say, smoking, say drinking too much. Just go one day, no, okay, we'll start back. We'll go easy. Go one hour without smoking or one hour without a drink, or one hour without drinking sugary drinks. And then you can do another hour, and another hour, and you can do get up to having one day. But the way to do it is to just go one small step. And you remember uh, the famous, uh, we talked about it, we've talked about it oftentimes, one small step for man one large step for mankind, one giant step for mankind. That was on the moon, when they landed on the moon. 
one small step for man, one giant step for mankind. It was just one small step, but you know, it culminated uh, going to the moon and actually coming out of the ship and, and uh, standing on the moon. So that is very important. Education, learning something new, reading a book, learning something. You say, well, I'll get around to reading that book someday, sometime. I'll take that course someday. Oh, yeah, not today, but someday. And I'm saying, all you gotta do to take that course is sign up for the course. You don't even have to take it. Sign up for it, that's the one first step. Read a book, just read one page. Then you'll have gone over this big problem of resistance and inertia. That's what I, once you do that, you say, well, I did that. You know, that wasn't so bad. I guess I could read a second page. But don't, don't say you've got to do that. Say, one page, that's all I've got to read if I'm going to read this book. That's it. One page. One signing up for a course. Just the first thing, that, that's, that's all you gotta do. What about any act of courage? Now, what is courage? Courage, yes, is the firefighter, is the policeman, is the military person. But the courage that they have, and they, I don't think they, they admit it, but they have it, just like you and I have it. Feel that fear, the fear of doing it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't let the fear stop you. Fear of public speaking. Fear of, uh, you know, calling somebody up and apologizing. There, people are afraid to apologize. People are afraid to call up and wish somebody happy birthday. Say. There's a fear of that. Just do it anyway. That's an act of courage, feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Now, if you want to do a program to help others, you can say, oh, but the, va the need is so vast. I can't just help one person. I've got to help everyone. Or if you, you, you can get at it the other way, you can say, oh, but you know, I want to help just one person. I can't be helping everybody. So it's either I'm helping only one person, I'm only helping a big group. Just do one thing. Just pick one. Do it. That's the hard part. Making a decision to help. That's the difficult part. Once you make that decision and once you do just one small kind act, then you're moving in the right direction. Any commitment. Now this gets tough because people have resistance to making commitments. Because they say, well, I'm, I might be boxed in. It's called a decision. A decision, you know, the word incision and decision come from about the same thing. It means cutting off other possibilities. So you make a decision to get married, to have a child, uh, any time when you have a long-term growth, long-term commitment, rather than a short-term, hey, I'm gonna put, uh, you, you know, I'm gonna get my reward in three seconds. Anytime there's a long-term commitment, people have a resistance to making that commitment. Those are just a few of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Where is the resistance in your life? And wherever it is, just decide you're going to overcome it and with one little action. It may only take you a minute. One action will get you past the resistance. I'm Dr. George Flynn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.